Hey everyone, welcome to my family of printers. I want to do a quick video on making clear resin 3D printed parts. These would be for canopies, they'd be for lenses, um, anything you want clear. I have had amazing success with this guy. This is Soraya Tech Professional UV Resin Clear. I'm using this for this tutorial. There's also another one. We've got this guy that's a professional UV resin, the simple. Not sure what the print times are on those. You have to really pay attention to exposure times. I've got my Elegu Mars dialed in for the craft style. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run a test print on this. And these are going to be for lenses. I'm gonna go ahead and print out this guy here. It's a whole bunch of lenses. And we're going to go ahead and give this a shot, and I'm going to walk you through the steps I do to achieve crystal clear lenses. Okay, let me give you a couple pro tips on setting up your, your clear parts. I'm finding that when you print in clear resin, your parts are enlarged a little bit. I've got my printer dialed in just right, but still, the, print, the lenses are coming out a little big. So I have found that if I take the lens and scale it down for my particular printer, my particular resin, 95%. So I'm over here in my scale option. I've got my uh, lock ratio checked, 95% that scales it all across X, Y, and Z. Your printer might be different. Your setup might not need it to be reduced, but I'm finding that I need to reduce these lenses by 5%. So I'm going to angle it out a little bit. I've got it angled, as you can see. In my support profile, I've got it a Z height lift of 4.5. The rest of these, these contact shapes and um, dimensions are, are just uh, default. All right, so here we have this guy. I'm gonna put this a little bit more towards the center. I'm gonna repeat this. Two lenses. Uh, on, on, on this pr project, it's, uh, it's just two identical lenses. You may wanna check on your project if there's a left and a right distinct pieces needed. And there we are. Um, scaled at 95%. And you're just gonna slice this and print this as normal. And let's see how this goes. We're going to be focusing on just two lenses. Here we are, fresh off the printer. So I'm wearing gloves. The big secret to these is you don't want to touch them with any kind of a solvent, no ISO, no water, no nothing. Just get them off their supports. Boy, these are on strong. A little bit of leverage will help break those supports off okay those go into the bin and what the secret is is we want to maintain that clearness that optical clarity of that lens it's looking really good we're gonna wipe this I'm just using standard paper towels and just doing this is gonna fog them just a little bit you want to get that excess resin off. If you have any interior detail, like these have a little, a little bulb, a little um, inset in here for an LED. Just wad up this paper towel, wipe the inside of that, nice and clean. I'll give it one more round of cleaning. And that is it. I'm going to do that for both these lenses. Okay, I am very happy with these guys. They're nice and clean. All the excess wiped off. We're going to cure these just as they are. If you don't have a cure station like this, this is the AnyCubic cure station. You could put these out in sunlight. The thing is, we don't want to over cure these. Just a couple minutes, two minutes on this. 
maybe 15 or so if you're doing this in daylight in a tub of water. If you over cure this, you run into a danger of them fogging or getting yellow, discoloring. We want these to be really clear. We have this on cure, two minutes, go. And what's really cool is, is you get to see these things light up. They just glow up under that UV light. Okay, this is straight out of the chamber. Giving them a quick inspection. Everything looks good. I'm not seeing any glossy areas. I'm going to set this down on some, some paper. And we're going to hit this. Switch hands here. I'm going to hit this with gloss clear. You can use an automotive uh, a gloss if you wanted to. This stuff works just fine. This is just the Rust-Oleum clear gloss, standard clear gloss. Home Depot. From a distance, not too close, pretty far off this, this these lenses. And I'm just going to hit them from this angle. Going to hit them from this angle. And that's it. Going to let these cure. I'd let them cure, uh, gosh, you know, four or five hours. And they will completely cure out, and then we'll have a look in a few hours. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is your result. Optically clear. Pretty darn impressive, if you ask me. I mean, as good, if not better, than anything I'd be able to cast in even the most expensive epoxies, the most expensive clear cast resins, optically clear lenses. You could do canopies this way, helmet lenses, anything you want. I mean, look at this. I mean, the transmission, there's, um, there's an array of holes in this lens, and the transmission of those holes, beautiful pieces. Anyways, there is some tips for you. I'm sure this might get outdated one day, but don't wash your parts with anything. Just wipe them clean, cure for no longer than two minutes, hit them with clear coat, bam, there you go. All right, guys, I hope that, that tutorial was helpful. If you enjoy this content, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.